We developed Fit as a Fiddle in Age UK Cheshire East area because we ran a healthy lifestyle service and we knew there was a lot more demand from rural areas to access healthy lifestyles activities. Things like Tai Chi, walking groups, craft groups, art groups as a choir, so all sorts of different things, a diverse variety of different activities that, that people can get involved in. The overall aim of activities in rural Cheshire it has three strands. One is about helping people support good physical health, the other is around supporting good mental health and thirdly it's around supporting social integration. But we're talking about a population that's aged 50 plus, so there's a diverse range of different needs within that population. Particularly in rural Cheshire, social isolation, um, people find it difficult to access services or activities either because of poor public transport or because they feel socially isolated and they don't know where to go. What we wanted to do when developing activities was build on the assets that we've got in this part of the world. One of the assets is the countryside within rural Cheshire and the other asset is the people so what we try and do is bring people and places together and we're involving people as co-producers in their own health. So identifying what parts of the countryside people would like to walk in is a starting point and then we can actually provide training to walk leaders who are volunteers who we work with to develop a programme of walking activities within that particular area. Yeah, well there's about four of us that are the walk leaders and we sort of get together and work out which walks that we'd like to do what, you know, because we know the people and we want them to be fairly flat and level and that and a bit of interest and a bit of variety. We retired about the same time so um, Wanted something to do, obviously, and uh, we both like the fresh air, don't yeah. we? Yeah, like walking. So. so that's what we decided. It was one of our first things we did, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. This is for people, you know, that just want a bit of exercise and just want some company, and they know it's safe, and they know that there's always people at the back who will wait for them. People are not so um, physically able. They probably feel a bit anxious about going on a walk yeah. by themselves, that they have the comfort yeah. of knowing that it's, it's organised and people are competent, they have the mobile phone or whatever, the facilities to look after them. It's something I wanted to be involved in, you know, it's healthy and it's caring and all, it fitted all those kind of things that I like doing, so, so that's what I joined in. They go for a walk within the countryside. Sometimes it's a, a gentle walk for maybe an hour. We do have some more advanced walks going on for people who are um, feeling up to a bit more strenuous exercise. Today it was slight, very slight incline through the woods. It was beautiful. It was all dappled sunlight today. Or sometimes, sometimes it's full of bird song in the spring. It's lovely. It's always different. Then when we got when we got to the gates of Lyme Park itself. We just we couldn't go up a very steep hill, so we went round a very um, like round round a, a knoll. We went a lot, so that was very open. I wanted to find out about the local routes, <laughs> but we spent so much time but talking. The thing is, yeah, we, we don't come know where back, we've been. Say, half where have we walked? We said, <laughs> no, no, do you know? No, I have a clue where I've been. <laughs> when we'd gone past the, the lake. Uh, we were up at the top of the views, which is stunning, and we could actually see Poynton. And then we had the very long, uh, slow, uh, gradual uh, coming down from the hill and down back, down through the woods, back here again. So back to here where we've had the, the cake. So it's been a fantastic walk today, full of contrast and a real challenge for everybody. But we've loved it. And they're very aware, yeah. aren't they, that there yeah. are various levels of ability. Yeah. And mentally, yeah. I think you feel the benefit of being out. That's separate. true, actually. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. There's people who've done this walk today that didn't do it last year. And I just feel so thrilled. And they do as well. And they'll probably sleep all afternoon. <laughs> But I just think that's brilliant. They become friends, they become feeling, feeling like family really, meeting on a regular basis, enjoying the walk, having a laugh, uh, and enjoying the countryside of Cheshire East as they're walking through it. I heard a woman today walking along and she was saying, like, um, do you know, I live by myself and I never speak to a soul. Well, you heard the noise today, I mean. I've enjoyed the company of everybody. Um, the length of walk, which has been a bit longer, it's a bit more strenuous than we normally do. And I think um, with it being a fine day, it's really been good. It's the exercise, to be honest. Yeah. That is what I quite it's like. And thing, I wouldn't yeah. go on my own for this sort of thing because I'd be too nervous. And it's a nice group as well. So it's, 
I mean, I like walking on my own as well, but it's nice to walk with a group, especially when you move to a, a new town and uh, you want to get to know people. put on Tai Chi in community venues like sheltered housing, church halls, village halls. Well, I do this Tai Chi uh, every, every week uh, in Bollington and I found it extremely advantageous uh, to, to my health and my physical ability because I'm 86 years of age and I'm still doing pretty well, people say. <laughs> Well, I've been coming to Tai Chi for over a year now with this wonderful teacher who's Chinese and so he's a real Tai Chi master. And it's Chen style, which I enjoy. So it's been superb. It's all the different movements and things like that which you don't do in the normal way. And it's very gentle. It's very, very gentle indeed. It's not really uh, physically demanding. And I always feel better after I've had an hour in the class doing it. Yes, always. Tai Chi is particularly good because it's non sort of low, load bearing, it's very flowing and fluid. It's of great benefit to all your joints. It helps balance, it helps reduce blood pressure, helps reduce anxiety, helps muscle coordination, helps flexibility if people have conditions like arthritis or, or other conditions that are limiting in their mobility. I think it's got great advantages. I sleep better and I think I eat better as well and I'm keeping in good shape, I hope. We know if people are stuck in a rut with very little social activity that their health can deteriorate physically and mentally. So just by providing a very low level activity, we're actually opening up a whole range of benefits to people which really benefits people in the long term. I tried doing Tai Chi at home on my own, it's not the same. When it's a, led by an instructor, I always think it's better for you and easier to do. Well, I think it's so easy as you get a little older to think, oh, I'm not as fit as I used to be, and I'll just sit and watch Deal or No Deal, or, you know, whatever. And I just think you've got to make more effort. And uh, an age UK seemed to be designing things for people that aren't super fit, you know, going rock climbing or 10 mile walks. So, and it's a very friendly um, organisation. I think it's very helpful. Well, we know that people in rural areas are still isolated, find it difficult to access services. There's always going to be a need to put services on in local community venues. And that's what we will continue to do. Through Fit as a Fiddle we've built up a whole load of social capital around volunteers, around participants, a whole load of experiences there and we don't want to see that dissipate. What we're looking for is getting additional funding to continue those activities and with the capital that, that exists within those communities it's not a huge amount of funding that will be required to keep those going to maintain and support them and our organisation will continue to provide that support.